কম্পিটিশন দিলে এটা আমি যতটুকু জানি আজকে সকাল বেলায় ইশাত ম্যাডাম বা ইশাত আপা তোমাদেরকে শুরু করে দিয়েছে হ্যাঁ তোমাদেরকে লেবারের নরমাল স্টেজ প্রসিডিউর গুলো করিয়েছেন আমি আজকে আজকে কম্পিটিশন আমি হচ্ছে কম্পিটিশন লেবার যদি কম্পিটিশন বলতে যাই তাহলে শুধু লেবার নরমাল লেবার ইজ এ পার্ট প্রসেস দ্যাট ইজ স্ট্রেট ফরওয়ার্ড বাট সামটাইম কম্পিটিশন আরাইজেস that we need immediate attention because it may become pattern and competition can occur in any part of the labor process and it is normal labor is straight into jokhon jokhon competition arise hote pare so we need cautious competition involve timing of the labor problem the features also involve and problem to matter problem to Uh, before competition first is we all are know that about the labor is the three stages first second and third stage and uh, every stage has lots of competitions uh, but the competition labor in a simple one topics it's very difficult to cover all these things so i give you a short in a short now we are discuss the competition first is the labor most important competition first is labor is the prolonged labor or failure to progress the labor and uh early rapture of the member but what is known as rapture of the member is usually occurs in the second stage it is in the early first stage then it's make a problem with the trial labor or others etc court collars when early rapture of the member there is a chance of the court collars and there's a a uh, problem with the hypotonic return contraction or incoordinate return contraction that's the hypotonic return contraction cervical dystocia fetal and maternal distress and sepsis now we'll to discuss about the failure of the progress of the labor or prolonged labor prolonged labor means that does not progress or fail to progress so in labor lasts longer than expected डिंग medical assessment and prevention must be needed and it is best to competition when we call the first stage and second stage of the labor it is more than the 12 hours is called prolonged labor what is the cause it is to prolonged labor slow cervical dilatation ma'am screen dekha jacche na dekha jacche na left to right Slow diverse cervical dilation is one of the cause of prolonged labor. Usually, 1.5 cm per hour is the rate of the cervical dilation. When it's less than 1.5 cm, 1.5 cm is the case of primary, and in case of monthly, it's 1.5. I want to. And slow cervical dilation is called then 1.25 cm per hour. Slow effacement, small part of the canal or inadequate pelvis, cervical dystocia. Any tumor, any big tumor that can obstruction, large baby itself cause prolonged labor, malpresentation, malposition, that will cause prolonged labor. And in the disease, use of sedative drugs, analgesic or hypotonic drug, which are helpful, but in the disease, use or time is not used, then it becomes prolonged labor, cause prolonged labor. Then another factor is the emotional factor, worry, stress, is also causing prolonged labor. Management of prolonged labor is the first area. I just handed just some important points. Any kind of labor must be monitored by the patuka, and then you can prevent it prolonged or obstructed complication. So patuka mandatory, and then we carefully evaluate or reassess the to find the cause of the labor prolonged labor. And then assess the fetal condition and maternal condition. And if fetal condition distress, then we give oxygen or others, uh, some foods. Maternal condition, assess 
and if it has the pattern and a dehydrated or asbestos samples, then correction is done. And it must exclude a man presentation and plant presentation. Uh, intervention given for the according the cause, can also, such as of you know, suboptimal return activity or return inertia, which is the most common cause than the prolonged labor. Then we do amyloidomy uh, to augment the labor or and or oxidative infusion, so causes augmentation of the labor. And when it has to do malpresentation, malpresentation, oxygen section is needed. And uh, maternal pelvis is also overcome by the oxygen section. Return inertia, another cause of long labor, a common type of abnormal return bone structure for the last three years. Because uh, intensity and duration of the contraction is diminished. And in case of return inertia, maternal fetal distress are unusual. Uh, there's and the uh, time to intervention uh, usually first of amyloidomy and if like a clear then we do the oxygen infusion. But if inertia is associated with contracted pelvis malpresentation, then we do the cesarean section. And then incoordinate uterine action, which is the hypertonic state of the uterus. Here, the return contraction is increases in duration and frequency. And patient feel, mothers feel unbearable pain or agonizing pain, maternal exhausted and fetal distress present. There may be constriction ring or bundle ring, known as bundle ring, may be present. Here, no role of or no place of oxytocin. In inertia, oxytocin is the main role. But in incarnate interaction, no role of oxytocin. Analysis here may be helpful. Analysis and see. And how you overcome this state of incarnate return protection? Overcome by the caesarean section or caesarean delivery. Another important complication is the cord prolapse. What is cord prolapse? Uh, it is abnormal descent. When you have a cord prolapse, it is usually associated with malpresentation. One in 300 live birth is caught for a plastic. The prognosis and fetal outcome depends in between the time interval between the detection and detection of the caught prolapse and delivery of the baby. In much case, it also depends on the prognosis. Management depends on the baby leaving or dead, maturity, and cervical dilatation. If baby alive, base treatment is the cesarean section. But where there is a, uh, may, may need time to cesarean section, our patient uh, ammonite leg acidic and the cesarean section facility nine, then we need to refer here. In that case, we do some first aid management. That's what is this? Is that it the cord into the vagina and bladder filling catheterization bladder filling to fill the lift the presenting part which may causing uh, lower the pressure on the cord and exhibit sims position there is other position but the sims position there is the uh, pressure part of uh, we uh, put a below the part of and that that will be uh, less the cord compression and in, uh, there's some spaces where the immediate present safe delivery can be possible. Why this condition is the breast presentation. Service dilated, fully dilated, breast presentation is completed by the breast extraction. In cephalic presentation, we the engage service full dilated, then we do the parcel. This only delivery by delivery by the parcel. Cervical dystrophia. Cervical dystrophia means failure to cervical dilation. And most cervical dystrophy may cause inefficient uterine conduction, I mean uterine inertia. Malpresentation and malposition, this also leads to cervical dystrophy. And there's a scanning or visit cervix, is another cause of cervical dystrophy. And other scanner is the problem, cervical cancer may lead to cervical dystrophy. 
in face of cervical dystocia to overcome this complication by cesarean section. I think why I call used cesarean section repeatedly because I deal with the complication. So role of vaginal delivery in this case is minimum. Now I go to the complication of this second case of the labor. Some complication are same in first stress, second stress, as others are different. An obstructed labor. In first stress, we discuss about the prolonged labor, the main complication of first stress of labor, but in case of obstructed labor, the main uh, complication of the second stress of labor. Cord collars are uh, both cases common, maternal fetal distress common, and infection, sepsis. Rupture, uterus injury, maternal fetal injury. Sorry. Specifically, third is complication, special one, the shoulder dissocia. This is about the, now this is the obstructed liver. What is obstructed liver? When the progressive descent of the presenting part is arrested due to some mechanical obstruction, in spite of root heat and contraction. I mean, Fetal contraction of an act of sufficient, therefore, fetal head, namchen. Shuja Bangla Bulle, it is a much obstructed labor. Main feature. Incidents in our country, it's one to two percent in hospital delivery. As the cause, why obstructed labor occur? First story is the inadequate pelvis. Civil will be disproportion, large baby, network pelvis and large baby and civil will discussion is adverse side. And any uh, soft tissue obstruction included cervical dystocia, cervical cardiac fibroid, hemi fibroid, all over and tumor which infected the gut canal. Congenital malformation of the fetus. And malpresentation, malposition, this is the common factor causing obstruction of the labor. Uh, obstructive labor's complication. I mean, effect of the obstructed labor, effect on fetus and effect on the fathers. Complication of the fetus included asphyxia, birth trauma, intracranial hemorrhage, infection. And then the maternal competition. Maternal competition that is in immediate and remote competition. Immediate competition that is the prolonged and obstructed labor. So, patient, mother becomes dehydrated, asbestos, sepsis is a common. And injury, injury, cervical, vaginal, shears, common factor, and uh, rupture of the uterus may occur. Postpartum hemorrhage, shock. Remote complication, JT uh, renal fistula and rectal has a fistula. These are the most diverse complications in the life of the woman. Vaginal atresia and secondary anemia. How we manage the obstructive labor? Main principle manage obstructive labor is the really the obstruction at the earliest by the safe delivery and manage patient, some general management and specific management. General management assess the condition of the father's fetus, mother and fetus, and fetal distress discussed in another thing. Now it's discussed about food. Mother, correction, dehydration, acidosis, is maintaining electrolytes, antibiotic. If uh, bleeding is more, then we need arrange blood transfusion, catheterization, and prepare for the definitive management. Definitive management is operative treatment. In case of obstructive paper, vaginal delivery, 
possible if it is set or allowed. Possible or allowed. And in that case, a destructive operation will be job destruction. At specific, may be allied, may not be the scissorian section. Shoulder dystocia. Shoulder dystocia is when the head is delivered rather than only, but the shoulder remains at the mother. Okay. Shoulder it is not common, but it's more likely to affect women who have uh, given birth before and use primary gravita territory. They should not say. They should not say that the condition of the shoulder is to share expected. That's a large baby to be heard. Post-mature baby to be heard. Only the male from the family to the male to the shoulder. They say, my target delivery is the land, shoulder arrested. And patient has history of previous shoulder dystocia. Diabetic mother, obesity mother, obese mother, obese youngster, they should have shoulder dystocia. Shoulder dystocia management with them, it's the emergency. You need uh, call for extra help. Aka kokhono manage kora jabe na, must other still involved. There's a principal here. Maintain shoulder dystocia, not to be traction, and never apply fundal pressure. And in this case, I am not to be fundal pressure. Power. It is good pressure, but super pressure, not fundal. And liberal epistotomy, even if liberal epistotomy, and then some manual work to help the delivery of the shoulder. First, is, uh, first of all, we try to deliver the shoulder by head and shoulder gasped in our both hands and push the baby, uh, traction baby posteriorly. There's a, as a result, Andrew's shoulder is really and delivery can be possible. It's a simple, okay? but uh, as I say, it's simple, but it's not so simple. It's a difficult one. There's some others maneuver. Um, I think just you know the name, no need to details. Macrovers maneuver, boost maneuver, all four position. And completion the constructed labor main completion is another one. It is affected the mother, the injury. Lower gentle tract and upper gentle tract. Lower gentle tract, subvenia tear, laceration, vaginal laceration, hematoma, subvagal tear. Upper gentle tract, broad ligament, hematoma, and uterine rupture. Uterine rupture. If any person has a um, woman has a previous cesarean section, there's chance of rupture in future labor. And in that cases, baby may be at risk due to oxygen deprivation. And cesarean section, if you diagnosed, this is must and as early as possible. And mother is to do excessive bleeding. Apart from the uh, previous season section, other possible risk factors that may cause uterine rupture is by induction of the labor, unjudicious age to the bully, size of the baby, maternal age more than 35 years, and instrument of vaginal age is one of the cause of the uterine rupture. And how diagnosed or how to stand is the case of return of child. Maternal heart rate increases, blood pressure low, patient came to shock. And uh, first patient uh, talked about the pain and skirt tenderness. On examination, we found the skirt tenderness. And if uh, labor is slow, becomes slow on. Baby mm, heart rate is also abnormal. Vaginal bleeding present. And after the care and monitoring, we reduce the risk of the serious consequence and avoid this with care and monitoring and avoid this disaster. Treatment is the first that is the main principle, resuscitation. The mother's condition is deteriorated. 
So this is the main treatment and side by side laparotomy is the definitive treatment. And laparotomy, uh, what we do in laparotomy is depend on the others factor or finding within laboratory. Several of the disposition. When the baby's head is unable to fit through the mother's fingers, called sepalopendi disposition. When it occurs, it occurs that the baby is large, or the large head size baby, mother pelvis is small, it has an unusual shape, I mean, inadequate pelvis. Actually, in case of sepalopendi disposition, mild can overcome by the horse, but uh, if not prefer the horse, prefer the cereal section delivery. Uh, rapid liver or precipitate liver, it's not in first step or not in second step, it's a combined complication. Why is a combined combined complication? Because uh, you know the first stage and second stage uh, this is uh, together the six to eighteen hours for some time when the labor of the movie three to five hours. Then we call this rapid labor or precipitated labor. When the precipitated uh, labor occur, the baby is smaller, premature, smaller than the average, and uterus contraction efficiently and strongly, and the canal is compliant, and there is a history of rapid labor. Uh, I completed the first stage complication and second stage complication. Uh, uh, if you want to know more, you may get to jump to touch up in a eight to go multiple problem. I'm thinking of the next step is the third stage complication. It's the most important. First stage, second stage, just to put up the two now with the same third stage. Okay. All of them know the picture. Okay. That's one. Who build it? Shambhat, Shajan, and Shajan. Why? Memory of this beloved wife, Mamutaj. And this is the cause. Mamutaj died from the postpartum human experience. 14 numbered childbirth. Postpartum is the most important complication of the third of the labor. And complication is the other complication, retained placenta, morbidly attained placenta, shock, emotion depressed, and embolism. Postpartum hemorrhage, when a hemorrhage called postpartum hemorrhage. Any amount of blood loss that threaten the hemodynamic stability of the woman, that threaten the life of the woman, and make it unstable, hemodynamically unstable, the postpartum hemorrhage, bleeding contained of tract, more than the 500 ml after delivery of the fetus, in case of vaginal delivery, but uh, in this case of cesarean section, it's 800 or more. Type of postpartum hemorrhage. There's two types primary and secondary. Primary hemorrhage occur within 24 hours following the birth of the baby. And primary hemorrhage are can be divided into third stage bleeding and true postpartum. That is the same so bleeding means bleeding after the delivery of the baby, but before the delivery of the placenta. And two postpartum hemorrhage, delivery of the placenta. Secondary hemorrhage occur beyond the 24 hours after the delivery of the baby, 
but within the territory. Territory. Is it? We go to do this. That is this bidding. Bidding occur before. I also told you mentioned in the bidding occur before. Unfortunately, back to that. When this occur, first of all, we place the hand over the abdomen and make this the uterus. IV channel, open IV channel and start it. So, this is a solution on a normal solution as what is available in your ward or hospital with oxytocin treat. And it has in bathymetry point to meet an IV stat. So, start with antibiotic and bladder catheterization. Also, help the uterine contraction and maintain the in output and then split the placenta if placenta is all separated uh, traditionally placenta is separated or either not if placenta is separated then placenta is split by the control contraction if not separated sign of separation does not appear then placenta is separated by manual removal under general anesthesia and another point is that when you call the little placenta is the morbid adhand placenta. It's difficult to remove. Uh, morbid adhand placenta is three types. All of you know are acuta, parcuta, and inquita. And parcuta and inquita is not possible to remove. And if you try to remove, then it's the uh, endanger the female life or my mother life. But when it's the part acuta and not this is focal point detected, then we try to remove the placenta and adjunct placenta by force of others. But be very cautious about remove the placenta because it may profuse bleeding of her and endanger the life of the mother. Primary postpartum hemorrhage. And cause. First was uterine atomy, second trauma, uterine tissue, and coagulation disorder. What the candidate of uterine trauma? Cabe uterine trauma, which is uterine atomy, cabe patient, grand multipara, together, cabe issue, multifetal pregnancy, hydramnios, microsomy, disease. Baby, they causes uterine atomy by over distension of the uterus. As some drug are causing uterine atomy, anesthesia and propylated drug, and then antipartum history of antipartum hemorrhage, there's a chance of uterine atomy. Trauma. Trauma, I discussed about earlier, there's a Lower uterine, general, lower genital tract trauma, upper genital trauma. Here, no? lower genital tract trauma. So, it has an illustration, cervical tear, cranial tear, rupture, epistemic, new one is the epistemic extension. Genital tract trauma is the instrumental delivery. All types of trauma are possible. Third one is retained tissue. It's a cotyledon. Or abnormal placenta substituted with low and then placenta uterine return. And coagulation disorder, that's one is coagulation disorder, or the history of chromocytic lipopla, hypothetic and blood bleeding disorder, causing leakage. Atonic leakage, atonic leakage, cellulose uterus to contract and retract. Effectively, and now to apply the aspirin atomy or placenta. I need uterine not contact it, it's the flabby condition. And 80% leakage are caused by atonic uterus, and by the others, 20% are other cause. When examining the patient, put the hand on the abdomen, you see the uterus is. Flabby and 
for um, that interest. There is torrential bleeding, profuse bleeding, patient may become tachycardia, tachypnea, hypotension, patient going to shock. All manners is case of people. It is an emergency and the most emergency case. Evaluation, resuscitation, communication within the medical team and with the patient relative and the procedure to arrest the bleeding should be proceed simultaneously. If the every word has an importance. Evaluation. Resuscitation. Patient general condition input put over. Actor character, with the patient relative, actually patient relative, we should have briefing put about the condition of the patient, procedure of the patient. And actually, ready for the patient for the procedure to address the bleeding. Also, told you to place a hand on the uterus. In PPH, place the hand on the uterus or abdomen, lower abdomen. It's a very important and give the clue. Uh, or diagnosis about the cause. Place the hand on the test to check for contraction and provide uterine masses. Uterine masses, that's the treatment of the so diagnosis and treatment also. Place the hand in the uterus for diagnosis and treatment. Insert for catheter and monitoring output. IV cannula, low, two large four IV cannula. Infusion, normal saline or this blood heart man, which one is available and blood collectors and photometric and cross matching and with uh, IV saline or saline to add it oxytocin but isotonic draft. The continuous volume resuscitation will add blood so the blood in our system is the blood agent with the bottom of the mama that's correct. Infusion salad. You must see plasma data at another level. And then inspect cervix resina of the tear or injury and explore the uterine cavity or uterine placental bleed excluded. And the monitoring the patient by pulse, blood pressure, and future rate, PP bleeding, which I did not mention it here. Uh, by this way, we control, I think, uterine drugs from control maybe uterine drugs. What are the drugs we use to PPH? Most common drug, oxytocin. 50, 40, 80, 500 women. And another drug is misoprostol. It's a very special, important role to manage the PPH. Uh, misoprostol is uh, also is prophylactic and in prevention. In that case, the uh, dose is 600 picogram. But in case of PPH, arrest or treatment of PPH, dose is 800 gram, 1000 microgram. Uh, that's the medical alternative G12 first. Emit the uh, name of the drug. Is not so important for you. But oxytocin, 20 to 100 ml is essential for me. Uh, this is the mechanical intervention, the bimanual compression. This uh, when we use the oxytocin drug side by side on acting drug, while acting the drug. We do the binomial compression in first. This is the picture of binomial compression. One hand above the, the abdomen, or abdomen, 
Bithanda, Bithras, and other hand the Androsonia. And Bithras is squeezes in both of your hands. And it's an effective measure to arrest the leakage. If we fail ecotonic drug and diamond compression, then we go for the retention point. Condom catheter. It's great invention by Professor Saibakta Madam. And after this invention, it's a very um, cheap, easy to use, and anyone can use this. Um, this is the picture of the condom catheter. And by this, to save in Dhaka Medical or others, to save many of the life of the mothers by using this condom catheter. Main use of balloon or condom that inflated it. Uh, in case of balloon or balloon tamponin, which is not used in our country, it's costly and not available. We use condom catheter and this uh, catheter is inflated with 300 to 400 ml of saline and catheter adapt the shape of the cavity and occluded the blood vessel or venous sinuses and arrest or stop the bleeding. This is the name of the dead and name of the balloon tampon. Also show you yes, and the another one when patient has failed to buy our procedure, we cannot arrest it that case. And patient need operative surgery, but in between we need some time for ready to surgical. Anesthesia or OT, other thing, then solid IOT compression. So, that, uh, we stand beside the patient, right side, and our right hand, cleaned fist right arm, is placed at the IOT uh, at the level of the umbilicus, or just below the umbilicus. And other hand, we feel the femoral pulse by left hand. And if we not feel the femoral pulse, then pressure is adequate. And bleeding will be minimized. And we're ready for the operative procedure. It's a temporary procedure, just waiting procedure. A surgical intervention. Billions compression suture uh, and multiple square suture in the point, a single point. Uh, billions suture when uh, usually used in the cesarean section, that patient has OT and it was um, abdominal open, then we'll try by uh, arrest of the leakage by the billions compression suture. Uh, other surgical intervention is the arterial ligation. Uterine artery, ovarian artery, we call it a stepwise devascularization, stepwise, one by another. That's the uterine artery, ovarian artery, internal iliac artery, ligation. And at last resource to stop the PPH, the pericarta is deployed. And in our modern days, uh, arterial embolization, selective uh, angiography, angiography procedure with the arterial embolization, but it's not practiced in our country. I hope to be soon started. Here's the picture of Williams. So, 
I almost completed the primary thesis. Now goes to the secondary postpartum. Cause of secondary postpartum hemorrhage is retained placental beads. Not all of the placenta is retained placenta. Infection with rape cysts. Salve insufficient defects in the arteries. Reading from the cesarean section and slap out the cesarean and causing bleeding. And others, uh, dynamic care problem also may cause secondary decay that the CSR makes a fibroid problem. PPH, secondary PPH, man is, uh, it's the emergency, but not so emergency as primary PPH. We started when patient came to us, started IV fluid, and his blood transfusion, multiple prostate and his blood transfusion, must be the antibiotic. The first, in the secondary PPH, infection is a major role. Causes PPH. God is antibiotic, discovered the aerobic and anaerobic. And then, as this point, PPH occurs. There's the region based of placenta, then we move it. The complication of DPPH, overall complication of DPPH, is the shock, maternal death. Shock leads to renal failure, maternal death, multi organ failure, Sheehan syndrome, PSA, sepsis. And risk of recurrence in the next pregnancy. Another complication of the <coughs> that is this labor is the in inversion of the uterus. What is the inversion of the uterus? Inversion of the uterus is the partially or completely uterus is partially or completely turned inside out. And the uterine cavity and outside. Not the only uterus, uterine cavity in turn inside out. So first degree, second degree, and third degree. First degree. Only dimple of the fungus, but whole of the uterus remain position above the level of the fungus. Second degree, first fungus first through the cervix, but not but within the vagina, not outside the vagina or outside the body. Third degree, intermittently visible outside the vulva. The main cause atrogenic which is spontaneous. The spontaneous is the hemocarone by any chance, interdermal pressure, lesion, the sharp rise of interdermal pressure causes uterus, like when the uterus is like than the partial inversion of the uterus. And atrogenic is the main cause in our country, cooling the cause when the uterus is atonic, especially in combat with the frontal pressure. Yes. Management. As patient in shock, they manage accordingly. Others, general management, all are as usual, shock management, IP camera, catheter, etc. Specific management, replacement of the uterus. If it's recent case, manual replacement. And hydrostatic replacement and surgical replacement. Antibiotic must to control. There's a piece, speech, uh, picture of manual replacement. There's a principle of manual replacement. The part we inserted first, which collapse last. That's the cervix. Fundal and first appear to collapse in the inverted. But when we 
place manually then it will first replaces cervix and then body and lastly fundus and after replacement we give your hand inside the uterus until uterus is contracted surgical analysis is not no important for you yes no the middle hydrostatic surgical method hydrostatic that's the uh, water pressure the zona is fill up by water and this pressure will uh, alternate to the plate the uterus and so other surgical on the abdominal contusion hypotons and the vaginal process invasion of colostrum complication is hemorrhage shock embolism and the most important complication on the uh, third step is the obstetric shock there's a type of various type of obstetric shock hypovolemic shock neurogenic shock obstetric shock obstructive air embolism shock anaphylactic shock and septic shock hypovolemic shock the sort of hemorrhage hematometra broad ligament hematoma paragonal as an hematoma fracture all the causing hypovolemic shock and bleeding second and second and which are blood loss and low volume and patient goes to shock news in the shock there's the uterine inversion here's the bleeding is less but uh, it was leaves in normal position and turn inside out so uh, um, there is a tension in the uh, tension the surrounding structure now so it goes to shock that's the news and shock obstructive shock ear embolism this may call um, uh, embolism and obstruction of the circulation Patient may get anaphylactic shock. Anaphylactic in case of labor, there's a chance of amniotic fluid embolism, and this amniotic fluid when enter into the circulation causes an anaphylactic shock. And septic shock, that's the in the infection. When when the infection is more vulnerable. This shock prolong rupture and then bleed and placenta manipulation, instrumental delivery. This is all like obstructive labor or the management of shock. This patient need shock. Patient need attention and the emergency condition very emergency condition, not only. First of all, we ensure the patient air package airway and oxygen with the oxygen. Conversely, try to control the active breathing, PPH induction, whatever the cause, safety, and channel open. Yes, I also do the two. I brought large both and low pain. I give patient. And correction of dehydration, electrolyte balance, antibiotic broad spectrum, antibiotic uses. Other structures are included, squared. In this case, cause and antibiotic are the most important. And the general management of the oxygen, patient position, cannula, catheter, and monitoring is the most important cause. Most important things: blood pressure, urine output, pulse, temperature, serum electrolyte, EBG. The monitoring process is the most important role to assess the patient condition, improving, improving or decreasing. I mean, not so more like I mean, it's not so important for you, but at the glance. Mulek and the thrombus and the fluid over here. Patient uh, is not here, but uh, may happen. Patient complains sudden chest 
discomfort here, hunger, hypertension, more especially just just a little complain for it. Then we just need to touch it. Then we move on. Hurry here. And the special attention need medicine help and ICU support. It must be needed in this case. मोस्ट but to put your anesthetic dispensers to all the stages is essential for healthy outcome uh ami ashle koto kichu tumra karo kono prashno ache kina ami to bollam jeno shesh kore eshechi ami tar jodi kono prashno thake tobe bolte paro ki prashno ache चले ग